almost ready. What's ready, Sammy? What's all this? Hey, hey, put it down! Fine, but please explain. Well, isn't it obvious? I want to catch a fairy to prove that they exist. What? <gasps> Sammy, you can't. No fairy will allow to be treated like this. We need to offer a beautiful house to a fairy. Then she might come. Oh, a beautiful house? Well, fine. Go on, get started, and I'll go select some decorations. Hi, guys. Welcome to a fairy tale. Oh, a cardboard fairy tale? <laughs> well, of course not. But we're going to use cardboard to make the house for our fairy. <sighs> but of course, she's so light and graceful. We need a house like that, too. Guys! Do you believe in fairies? Clap your hands if you do. But it'll be best if you hit that like button. Then we'll know for sure how many of our viewers believe in the fairies. What if they give a like if they just like the video? Hmm, well, it's still an important indicator. So, what do you have here? A magical construction inspection. Uh-oh, what if I fail the inspection? Huh, everything's in order, Sue. You may continue. Phew, what a relief. But the parts for the house are quite unusual, I should say. No wonder. It's a fairy tale house. Then I'm off to get fairy tale decorations. Sammy, who's going to help me? Summon some magic to help you. Magic? Hmm. Guys, I'm going to need your help for that. Hit the small bell below the video and let the magic begin. Look, our magical base is ready. It's time to add all kinds of pretty details. On top, we're going to have this little tower. And there's also going to be this plant on top. Uh, what? Well, fairies love plants. It's for attracting their attention. Sammy, it's a good idea, but the cardboard won't support the weight of your plant. Oh, fine. I was unaware there were limits here. And that was Samuel, the grumpiest slime ever. <laughs> Just a bit more, and our wonderful detail on the roof is done. Now let's add another one. Oh, my battle! What's going on? Sue, what's going on? Where do these wings come from? <laughs> I think that's the viewer's magic in action. Guys, admit it. Who wanted our Sam to become a fairy? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. I don't want to be a fairy. I want to catch a fairy. Ah! That's magic. Carefully now. There. Now our house has a base. Calm down, Sammy. You wanted to learn to fly, didn't you? Sammy? Huh. He's quiet. I hope he's fine. Right. Let's add one more Eve right here. Coming out very cute. There's also going to be a chimney on the roof of our house. Right, right. This way the fairy will understand that she's in for a very warm welcome. Sammy, did you get rid of the wings? What wings? There were no wings. No wings, but you... There were no wings! Fine, fine, I get it. Guys, if you liked Fairy Sam, give him a like! <laughs> huh, what's this cloth? It's a carpet. Place it inside. Uh, Sammy, perhaps you could search for a prettier carpet? Not this one, fine. A moment. Looks like Sam's decorating skills sometimes fails. Susie, I found prettier carpet. Oh, my dear Sam, a kitchen towel is not a carpet. And is this my t-shirt? Oopsie. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. And the house is coming out so nice. I hope you didn't forget about a door and windows. Of course not. We'll make them right away. Guys, be careful with the cutter. And while you were cutting out the openings, I made the door. This door is awesome, Sammy. Let's glue it in. Go on. I'm sure you've noticed that I've already glued hinges made of craft foam. Oh, I sure have. Now the door can open and close easily. Right, Susan. It's time to get ready for the most important step. The outer decor? Yes. May the decorating force be with us. That fairy transformation messed my head up. Please write all the fairy names you can remember. I 
can't even recall if Ariel is a mermaid or a fairy. Ariel is a mermaid, Sammy, and Tinkerbell is a fairy. Oh, right. Let our viewers write more. There can't be too many fairy names. Yeah, fairy names are beautiful. I wonder if a fairy can be called Susan. Huh. I need to think on that. And you can start on the decor. Yes, yes, Mr. Boss. Guys, Sam and I prepared lots of decor pieces. Here we have planks and roof tiles. And even bricks for our chimney. We need to glue everything in place. I figured out that to make your name a fairy name, you need to add something to it. Mm, like what? Like Susalyn or Sulily. Sulily? Very unusual. Guys, do you like it? Give a like if you do. Wow, and I really like how it's coming out, Sulily. You're a real master of fairy houses. Oh. Thank you. Have you got any more decor ideas? Yes, uh, sure. Uh, a moment. Oh, Sam switches between tasks so fast. And I finish one task first, then I start another. Susie, look! Which one do you like more? Uh, both of them don't look too good. It seems that this fairy transformation really messed with you, Sammy. Yes, I need to come to my senses and... Eat a candy. Uh, will it help? <laughs> Ugh, that's some question, Sue. When did a candy not help me? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, candies quickly bring Sam back to his senses. And I'll use these paints to give the house a more finished look. Sammy, that's more like it. All thanks to the magical candy. <laughs> uh, where should I put it? Wait a bit, I haven't finished painting yet. Well, fine. You'll place it somewhere when you're done, okay? Sure. And I'll bring one more thing. Fairies definitely love that. Huh? What do fairies definitely love? What do you think, guys? Okay, the painting is coming to an end. I'll add a bit more details. Wow! I'm even ready to become a fairy again to live in a house like that! Let's set your beautiful sign right here. And we can wait for a fairy. Slime. Someone's up to something and he didn't even ask my opinion. Sammy, what was this slime doing on the floor? Whoa, there's a slime flood here. Sue, I was told by friends of my friends who were told by their friends that there's fairies in town. What does this have to do with slimes? We just need these jars. Oh, I know. We can make a whole hotel for fairies out of them. 
Hmm... Sammy, that's a very cool idea. Let's do it, but first, clean up. I would do anything for fairies. Hello, everyone. Sam's got a brilliant idea. We're going to make a real hotel for fairies. A fairy hotel? Oh, hi, guys. Right. These jars will form the basis. Let's glue them together. Don't forget to be careful working with the hot glue. The jars have different shapes and dimensions. This way, the hotel's going to look like one in a fairy tale. Sam? What are you doing? Phew! Cardboard pieces, of course. Yeah. Sammy can cut cardboard with his eyes closed. <laughs> we'll use these parts to make the roof and the walls. You know, Sue, it doesn't look so fairy for now. Oh, Sammy, don't worry. Your fairies will definitely stay at our hotel. This is just the base. We've got a lot of work to do. Da -da, da -da -da. Oh, I got it! We're gonna cover it with cardboard and then color. No, Sammy. This craft is something between sculpture, architecture, and art. I'm telling ya, it's just the base for the fairy house. It's very important to make it stable. One thing at a time, all right? Just please don't get ahead of yourself. You captured my attention. I'm gonna cut more cardboard. It calms me. Yeah, Sammy's kind of on edge today. By the way, you can help him calm down with a thumbs up. Give one. Sam likes cutting, and I like gluing cardboard pieces together. One puddle next to another, this way. I've almost finished making the roof faces for this tower. Ew, I cut these for the towers! Look, I'm a magician! <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, you're a dreamer. But these cones are perfect. Let's glue them on the towers. Our hotel's base is almost ready. Let's add some glue on the jar's cap. This way. Good. And attach the cone roof. Now we're going to do some art magic. You're beating around the bush, Sue. Not at all. What do you know about sculpture, Sammy? It's sculpted. Oh, the cannoli! I got it! Like sculpt! Guys, to make this craft, we'll need paper clay and these tools. Sue, it's even better than I imagined. A real stone house. Exactly. Let's get started. Take some clay. All right. And apply it carefully on the roof. This way. Sue, I've got a question. Yes, Sammy, tell me. Maleficent is a fairy, right? Well, yeah. Sue! What? Shouldn't fairies be small and invisible? Oh. According to some legends, fairies aren't tiny creatures but invisible spirits who can transform into people. Even small fairies can become big if they want. Yeah, no, Sue. You are suspiciously well aware of fairies. Are you one of them by any chance? Oh, it's possible, Sammy. How do you think I got magic craft powers? <laughs> Huh. It's still strange. Why didn't I notice it before? Huh. I'm gonna prepare treats. Yes, our guests might be hungry after the trip. Guys, do you believe in fairies? Give a thumbs up down there if you do. First, I advise you to cut out the windows and the door because the clay sets very quickly. And later, you won't be able to change anything. Let's make a little window in the front door. Carefully. This stage needs patience. To smooth the surface, wet your hands in water. Or sprinkle some water with a spray bottle. Would you like a jelly? Oh, thanks, Sammy. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. What? What are you up to, Sam? That's strange. Anyway, let's continue covering the house with clay. Good. 
And I'll place this here. Two. Your favorite color is green, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. Sammy, what are you writing there? I'm doing research. Oh, I guess I got it. Sam's trying to figure out if I'm a fairy. <laughs> Sometimes I think I might be. My hands are magic, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I can play along with him. In the meantime, we are at the finish line. It's the last tower to be covered! Well, well. <laughs> Your house looks magic. That means she has magic skills. Guys, check out the hotel we made! Let's cut out a few more windows. All right, and add some magic. I think I'm on the threshold of a great discovery. Fairies can pretend to be people. Now let's make little logs out of the clay. Just like those you can see in the country or forest houses. I think a forester or a hunter could live in a hut like this. Or a witch. Ooh, right. An old witch cooking her potions and collecting magic herbs. Actually, I wish I had a house in a forest. Oh, she wants to have a house in the forest to make potions! I think he bought it. <laughs> Sammy, can you help me? Yes, Sue, how can I help? Could you make the roof, please? It's easy. Here, I'll show you. Huh, she's very polite and kind. Yes, so sure I can. You should do this. Got it! Look! So, don't you think something's missing? What do you mean? Looks perfect to me. Susie, do you have some fairy dust in your eyes? Frames! You forgot window frames! Oh, Sam! <laughs> right you are. Let's make the window frames. Before, they were just invisible. But now, I'm gonna put a spell and you'll see them all. You can't trick me, Susie. You just forgot them. <laughs> That's right. It's hard to fool you. Let's add some more details. Like this. It'll seem like the basement's made of stone. This way. Oh, I'd like to stay in a house like this, too. Sue, our fairy hotel has so many windows. We can host a whole delegation. By the way, how many fairies are we expecting? Uh, I think around ten. Oh, my feta! Sue, I have to make more treats! Don't worry, Sammy. We have a lot of things. I like the house we made, but that's not all. Here's the most interesting part. Let's make our gray house colorful! Oh, that's my favorite stage. By the way, Sammy, how's your research? Well, I figured out something. That I'm a fairy? So, how did you know? That was secret research! <laughs> you don't hide well, Sammy. I'm not a fairy. Are you sure? You fit in all respects. I am sure. Although there could be fairies in the family. Really? So I was right! <laughs> Maybe. Let's keep coloring the house. Guys, do you like coloring? I love it. I had lots of coloring books when I was little. This is kind of a new level. <laughs> do you want to paint the roof? Coloring roofs is my calling. Would you mind if I help you, Sammy? Nope. I really need your help because I still have to finish one thing. But don't ask me. It's a secret. Oh, okay. I'll finish myself. Your enthusiasm vanishes so quickly. 
Guys, don't forget to turn the notifications on. Tink the bell. Tink or bell? Are they already here? I, I got things ready. Oh, no, Sammy. I just reminded our viewers to subscribe. Phew. I'm having a nervous breakdown. Don't worry. Check out this beautiful house. Oh, wow. I love to live in a house like this. Oh, sorry, Sam. You won't fit. Will you show me what you prepared? Yep. It's time. Two, I was thinking a forest house should be in a forest. Where can we find a forest? Here. I made a little grove so our guests can feel at home. Whoa! <gasps> it's genius, Sammy! You're a very gracious host. You made a great grove. Oh, now it is perfect! Come on, Sue, the fairies are here! Bye, guys! Do you think they'll like it? No doubt. 